The top of the 5A SIC is a bit of a log jam. Bora proved that last night by upsetting Eagle. Tonight, the Mustangs hoping to vent some of their frustrations by knocking off the conference's lone undefeated team, Rocky Mountain. The Grizzlies led 16-14 at the half, and they go right to work. Dakota Wendell fights for some tough yardage. Then Jason Crimmins pulls his weight in the ground game. As Coach Pete might say, that's some tough sledding. Later in the drive, Rocky goes back to their main man, Wendell, and he's gone. A long touchdown run, but not so fast. A holding call brought the play back. The Grizzlies wouldn't score on the drive, and they would end up regretting it. Eagle boots a last-second field goal. The Mustangs knock off undefeated Rocky Mountain 31-29. It was homecoming for Boise at Donna Larson. Everyone, I'd like you to meet DJ. He was on the Braves' homecoming court this evening. Absolutely delighted to be there. Wide receiver Deion Hardy was named king. DJ gives him a little chest bump for his efforts. As for the game itself, Capital hoping to deal Boise its fourth straight loss. The Eagles led 28-7 in the second when we pick it up, but back come the Braves. Tanner Gustafson taken to the skies. Skyler Rowe with the ridiculous catch and run. Then later in the drive, Gustafson hits the juke button and lobs it to the end zone to guess who? Row, row, row your boat. That doesn't even make sense. The Braves cut the deficit to 28-14. But it didn't stay that way. McKenna Simmons leads the Eagles on an 80-yard drive, capped off by a short touchdown plunge for T.J. Clark. The Braves would battle back, but they fall just one point short. Capital holds on to beat Boise 42-41. So now that 5A is a complete mess, let's see what damage we can do to 4A. Bishop Kelly welcoming Middleton. The Knights were 6-0, but it's Middleton making the highlights. Max Foote puts his foot to the pedal. Middleton keeps it on the ground for the entire drive. And foot can put on his dancing shoes. Bikes up 7-zip. Then later, Victor Diaz cuts it outside for a big gain of his own. And just like foot before him, Diaz does the deed around the goal line. This touchdown made it 14-0 Middleton. The Knights forced overtime with a late TD, but the Vikings pull off perhaps the biggest upset of the night in double overtime. 42-36, Middleton wins it. BK is no longer unbeaten. How about another one versus two matchup? In 3A, undefeated Fruitland hosting Weezer in a Snake River Valley rivalry game. Joe Martirano, the Grizzly senior QB, going trucking early. 10-4, good buddy, rolling ahead for a first down. Fruitland couldn't score on that drive, but a little later, the defense takes care of business. Weezer's Brady the Young gets picked by Lane LaCrone, and he won't stop till he gets enough. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Fruitland went on to win 28-7. The Grizz win the Snake River Valley regular season crown and clinch home field advantage in the first two weeks of the postseason. They are the only undefeated 11-man team in Southwest Idaho.